Welcome to the vlog, everyone. I am presently in Victoria, BC, Canada, still on my family trip vacation. So I haven't been in British Columbia for about two years now, thanks to the pandemic. What I want to do on this vlog is just kind of fill you guys in on everything I've learned uh, as it pertains to BC um, and the global environmental issues. But I'm going to keep it fun and uh, the kids are going to help me out with this one. Believe it or not, this is where my son's classroom is today. Eric is in farming school, it's a college course, and he is thrilled with the concept of self-sustainability and the sciences of this future we are in. This place is cool. These are Highland Bulls from Scotland. Hi. How was farming school? It was something. Big black bear. It's going into the bush. It just went into the bush. Where is he? I don't see him. Is he in the bush again? He went like right, yeah, he's rustling right through there. Oh yeah, he's in there. You just see his butt. Black bear butt. Boom, boom, Crazy. Boom. Yeah. <laughs> Did you get him? Yeah, I got black bear moving it around. I could, it, but I can almost turn it into like a, like a Sasquatch video because <laughs> it wasn't very good. So Eric is working with Aurora on this really sweet farm. This is where I will learn everything that's going on with food distribution and uh, locally and globally and so on. So what do we have here? Fig trees. Oh yeah, beautiful. Yeah, Aurora, Aurora wants to start a, a fig orchard on the property. That building over there is incredible. What do you got over there? The barn, the little residential area on top. Barn with residential on top and animals down below. So workers in these white doors. Yeah, on either side. Beautiful. So that's pretty sweet. And these are just the shitty ones. <laughs> Inside. These are the shitty ones. Yeah, these are the shitty ones. Oh, wow. Very impressive. Look at that. Too bad I couldn't bring a banana back with me because it would actually fit in here. Yeah, you feel the heat coming out of here? Yeah, it's amazing. Back in dry season, right yeah. there. Okay, so these are the non shitty ones. I helped unpack every single piece of metal out of this. Honestly, not that these are shitty. This is high end. Oh yeah, no, like beautiful. Yeah. But when you got this to compare it to. Impressive. And this has been about the last month or two in the making. Mm-hmm. And yeah, I helped unload all of that, every piece of metal. Wow. Some of them are like 50 feet long pieces of metal I was carrying. Didn't hire any labor unlimited. Oh, here, you come check this out. Okay. Asparagus. Asparagus. Yeah. Grand project. So that's going to go to farmer's market stuff? Farmer's market, commercial probably. Commercial market, yeah. I think he's just putting peppers in it again, so it'll most likely... Wow, be solid peppers. That'd be amazing. Yeah, it's nice, eh? Having just the blackberries as a extra oh, yeah. nature provide. So Matt and Aurora own this lake. Yes, they do. Is there fish? Uh, I don't know. Well, there could be easily, though. Matt would be very happy you called it a lake, though. Yeah, so that has potential, eh? Yeah. Oh, big. This is like end of hot season, right? Yeah, right right at the end of summer. And you already have water sitting here? Yeah. Pussy willow's still growing. Hmm. Very, very cool. So you have this outlet here, and this is Lower Lake? Yeah. 
This is Lake Two. This is nice and cool in here, eh? Even oh, yeah. though it was hot up there. To buy all too. He wants to buy all these guys out. Yeah, their their fields. Hook it up. Well, they're not even using them, so. Yeah. Well, if he's got the money, it's a, it's a good move. I uh, fully agree with uh, buying the neighboring property. Excellent idea. So today your school is on an island. Denman Island. Denman Island. So what are you learning out in Denman Island today? I don't know. We're going to a, uh, a ornamental flower farm. So something, something to do with flowers. Okay. There is an interesting use for a sea can. So after seeing how excellent my younger son is doing, we decided to come three and a half hours down the highway and meet up with the boys, my older son. No, none of these guys are my older son. Oh, no way. It's cool. Horses. Got it, bro. <laughs> the bounce off the wall, eh? Get out, get out. Oh, nice. nice. Uh. So we're at Walmart. And um, yeah, we don't know what to do. Check it out, you're on screen over here too. Ooh. Oh yeah, mask. What are you gonna do? Oh my goodness! The flowers, a big problem at Walmart. I'm freaking out, man, I'll say it. Walmart um, is on their own, a league on their own. I'll say it, But uh, I'm scared. Thrifties and um, you know, Savons and Loblaws on Ontario or Superstore, they're all owned by President's no Choice. Well. President's Choice. All right, let's get her going. I Monopolis. actually just, you know, I just farted, man. We gotta get her going. Okay, okay. okay. Gonna absolute carpet bomb these guys in a second. Hey, so what's in it again? Beet greens, yeah. broccoli, melon, ground cherries, pears, and plums, oh. and spirulina. Oh, wow. <laughs> oh, yeah. You guys there's like there's still more I gotta pick. Hopefully they didn't. We're gonna try to do it. 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 We're Bell peppers, all the tomatoes, I've got the hot peppers here. So you're dehydrating all yeah. the stuff for winter and yeah. just for munching up. There's for the dehydrator. So that I don't have to buy store food. <laughs> and I was gifted dehydrated tomatoes. Whoa. 
So what I've learned on this trip is this. Canada is essentially shifting over to more and more over to using the elitist system rather than local producers. They're buying, you know, stuff and sending it through the Panama Canal to be packaged over to Amsterdam, back over here. Like food is going all over the planet when it shouldn't be. We're only producing about 15% locally here on Vancouver Island, which is embarrassing. We have the farmers that are willing to get to market and they're being undercut by ginormous greenhouses in China and Mexico. We are making great progress towards electrical vehicles and parking for them and charging, but BC Hydro stopped power sharing for the province. Many in BC invested their entire life savings to create energy just to be shut down. Again, monopolizing from the elites. I'm hoping BC will be supporting the little guys because that is the larger economy, not buying everything from Mexico and China. That is how we save our planet. See you next time, back in Panama. Hope you guys enjoyed the vlog.